Hello everybody and welcome back to Arizona Adventure Park. I hope you all are well hydrated and you are not hungry because this is going to be a hell of an episode. This is gonna be the longest episode that I have on my channel until this point. Yeah. Um, First of all, I'm gonna show you that I did a little something here. Um, I, uh, I made a lot of decorations. I decorated this staircase and I made the upper part look a little bit more nice for our staff uh, members. Um, this is not finished yet. This is still a work in progress. So there will be a lot of things happening in uh, the future. So, but what we are going today is we are going to build our very first habitat. And um, to be fair, this was my third attempt of building that. Um, the first attempt um, did go very, very wrong because um, I built everything way too big so um, in the end it didn't make any sense so I deleted everything that I had built um, I started anew it uh, didn't feel right as well so I deleted it again and then I thought of starting with something different um, I wanted to start with the big cat canyon that I mentioned in the last episode but um, I didn't feel it and I didn't know how to um, yeah how to start with it so um, I went back to this and um, I thought okay let's let's give it another try uh, let's give it a final try and um, maybe it will work out maybe it won't so just have a look at it so what we are going to build in this episode is um, uh, yeah as I mentioned it's something that I wanted to do pretty bad um, it's lemur islands um, yeah the reason I wanted to do that um, is mainly um, because we needed something nice and uh, and open at the beginning of our zoo and I thought the lemur islands would be um, yeah a nice opening um, and a fun spot for our visitors to enter our zoo and um, also I really wanted to build something for our new black and white raft lemur and so that's that's the main reason I wanted to start uh, with uh, with lemur islands. I also thought about um, something like a big flamingo pond in the beginning, like you might see in many other zoos. Um, yeah, but in the end, I thought no, that that might be a little bit too boring. So I I didn't go further into that. So what I'm going to do right now is um, we already laid down the path for our visitors um, around Lemur Islands um, and I wanted to have some um, viewing spots um, uh, that yeah, that are closer to the animals and that reach a little bit over um, the water that we might fill in in the gaps um, pretty soon so that you have something like this um, little island as well the visitors can enter to have a closer look at uh, at our lemurs yeah and um, that was the problem um, something you could take away from this video as well just put in the water and after that put in the um, elevated path because uh, the problem here was I um, built the path um, first and then I wasn't able to put in the water at that level that I wanted it to be so I had to delete the path again and um, then put in the uh, yeah put in the water and then lay down the path again so here was a little cut because um, I had the same problem that I um, had in the beginning. Um, I built way too big. So I had to delete everything and then start anew. Um, what I'm going to build here is the lemur house. It won't be a house like um, an actual house you go 
into um, it will be a house just for the lemurs to go into but not for the visitors the visitors can look inside it as well but um, as I said it's not like a walkthrough house or something like that but it might make sense um, in a later stage um, that's just um, yeah just so you know what I'm going to build here um, yeah, I wanted um, to have this uh, this kind of a lemur house um, where the lemurs could exit the building through that um, yeah through that wall piece that you see in the back um, the uh, with the roundish shape with the circular shape. So you might say, okay, um, I can see a little problem with this as the lemurs can exit the building to the, uh, to the islands, but what about your zookeepers, what about your caretakers? Um, will they be able to take care of the lemurs and feed them and um, uh, clean the habitat? So that's a thing I thought about as well. And I wanted um, the keepers to enter the, uh, the habitat through the house. Um, and obviously they won't be able to enter the islands per se. So what I was going to do or what I am going to do in this video, what you might see in, um, in a few minutes, um, I put down all the food stuff for the animals inside the house because that's the only thing that the keepers um, would have to reach so um, that they can feed the animals so that means the animals have to come into the house to get food um, all the other animal enrichments the toys and so on um, I um, I put down on the actual islands so that the animals will use not just the house but also the islands and um, here's the thing your keepers don't need to enter the islands to clean them I don't know how this will work, but um, it will work in, um, in reality, in the game. Um, but the only part that the keepers will have to reach are the, um, yeah, the food trays and the food enrichment. Everything else they, um, they don't need to reach in person. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how I accomplished that because I really don't um, like it when um, yeah when you build a habitat like this and you have these islands and your animals can only reach the islands um, uh, through some climbing frames or something like that and um, then you have to make also a bridge um, for your keepers to uh, to reach the island because then you will have the problem that um, when you put down the bridge, your animals also will use the bridge instead of the climbing frames. And that is something that you don't want to have. And um, that's why I'm quite happy that this works in, uh, in that kind of way, so that the animals only leave the house through um, by taking um, uh, those climbing frames and uh, not by going or, or walking over some kind of a bridge. Yeah, and then I'm also um, I'm using very very much of uh, of the plaster pieces um, for this build. Also for the um, yeah for the ground of uh, of the building, which I'm going to delete in a later stage. Um, I tell you later why I deleted it. Um, and um, I also tell you why I didn't have to delete it, but I deleted it anyways because I had a little problem with, um, yeah, with our inhabitants, with our lemurs. 
which was really, really weird, but we're coming to that in a, a later stage. I'm also using um, those glass pieces here, um, which we used for the entrance building as well, just to make it a little bit more come, uh, come together and be cohesive. Is that the right word? Yeah, and also um, you might see a little cut um, right in a few seconds because um, I did a little something here. Um, I, as I was putting down those rocks, I didn't notice that I still was in the building part um, of our building um, for, uh, for the lemurs. And um, I put down some rocks and um, then I decided I don't want to go with those um, red desert rocks. I want to go with the regular ones. So I deleted um, the red desert rocks and I didn't notice that I also deleted the building because it was connected. And I couldn't go um, back to um, where the building was still um, yeah, the building was uh, still existent because I did so many things um, in between. So um, that's why you might see a gap um, uh, right here. There it is. Uh, there it is. Um, yeah, because um, as I said, I couldn't go back to um, where the building was still existent, which was uh, a pity. And um, I had to um, to go back to the main menu and um, load the autosave um, to get back to this point. Yeah, what I'm doing um, here is what I'm always starting with when I'm doing, um, yeah, when I'm creating a new habitat. First of all, you want to um, uh, paint the terrain, then you put down the rocks, then you put down uh, trees, bushes, shrubbery, the whole foliage thing. And um, when you put down that, you can go for animal enrichment, for, um, yeah, for barriers and um, that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm going to put down some rocks here. Um, Yeah, um, that's uh, that's something that I thought about it as well because you see me putting down some um, of these um, desert foliage. Um, I also did that in um, my um, German sandbox zoo, Swamp Lake Zoo, um, which was in a more moderate boreal um, theme in North America, more um, like those um, national park like Yosemite, Yellowstone or something like that in that climate. Um, yeah, in that climate. So I decided to put down only foliage from, uh, from that climate zone. And that's something that I'm going to do in this zoo as well. So um, we are here in a desert biome um, in Arizona. So um, not all the foliage that you will see in here might be appropriate for Arizona, but for a desert biome. Um, so we have these lemurs in these habitats that are tropical creatures. They might not like everything that I'm putting down here, but um, your animals will be fine with any kind of foliage. Um, they don't care that much about the right kind of foliage um, and not that much about the right uh, amount of uh, foliage. So. Um, after all, they will be uh, they will be quite happy with everything you put down for them, so that doesn't matter that much. The only thing um, that really matters to your animal is um, enrichment and um, the size of your habitats, size of your habitats, temperature, and um, yeah, and also um, the kind of terrain. 
that means um, if it is sand, if it is uh, short grass, long grass, rock, um, dirt or whatever, that matters to your animals, but um, yeah, foliage is not that big of a deal for them. Um, so I, uh, first of all, I did put uh, down the food enrichment for the animals um, outside on the islands. And, um, and then I remembered that um, this was rubbish because, um, yeah, my keepers couldn't reach um, those, so this won't work on the islands. So I deleted it and put them uh, down again inside, um, yeah, the lemur house. And uh, now I'm creating those climbing frames for our lemurs um, that they will be able to leave the house and um, climb on them towards the island. Um, on the islands I also put down some climbing frames and I have to tell you I am not the best in um, creating those climbing frames. So I tried to create some by myself but um, I failed miserably it looked horrible and um, so I decided to go with the in-game uh, in climbing frames that's um, something I usually don't do I usually don't use any in-game um, props um, because I think um, most of them you can uh, you can do by yourself and um, it might look uh, yeah as nice as uh, as uh, yourself made uh, as uh, as the in-game stuff but uh, with these climbing frames i just i just can't i just can't and um, so that's why i didn't use them Yeah, here you can see what uh, what I mean. They look very simple and plain and um, I think I'm a really creative person, um, but somehow with uh, with these kind of uh, of things I just um, yeah, I can't imagine how to to make it look interesting and um so that's why I was going with uh, with the in-game ones. I hope you don't mind that and um, I hope you don't hold that against me. Yeah. Yeah, and here you see what uh, my idea from the beginning was how to accomplish this, uh, these things here. And um, I have to tell you, I took inspiration for this from um, my hometown zoo, from the uh, from the zoo in Munich in Germany, because they have um, something quite similar to this. Um, they don't um, have this for. Yeah, sure, they have this for uh, for the lemurs as well, but. Um, that's not what I'm thinking about right now. What I thought about was um, they have a habita uh, habitat for um, for gibbons. Um, I hope they are called gibbons in um, in English as well. And um, for squirrel, uh, no, not squirrel monkeys, for spider monkeys. And they have this um, kind of house um, for the animals where you don't actually go inside as a visitor, but you can look inside it by passing by um, and uh, having um, a roof over it so that um, you can actually look inside and the sun won't um, won't shine in your eyes so that you don't care uh, that you don't. Oh my god, um, <laughs> I have terrible, terrible um, uh, talking skills today so that you uh, won't be blinded by the sun and you actually can see inside the habitat through the glass windows. That's what I meant to say. How could I not find the words for that? Oh my gosh. So, okay. Um, yeah, and that's what I took um, inspiration for this habitat that I was uh, I was building here. They also have a, um, a bigger complex of um, 
yeah, of, uh, of monkey habitats, which are all um, quite similar um, with um, an indoor section and um, an outdoor section that is um, like these islands that, uh, that the animals can use. And um, the funny thing is, um, at least I, when I visit the zoo, I can see um, the animals mostly in their indoor habitats. They don't use their outdoor habitats that much. I might be wrong and um, they are um, going there all the time and um, are staying only in the inside when they have to, but um, at least when I visit the zoo, the animals are always on the inside. So I don't know why that is, but uh, yeah, that's the case. Um, what I'm going to do here is um, something I regret a little bit, because um, I might keep up with the theme that I'm going um, for right now. Um, because this is um, a little bit in... Um, in a city zoo style right now. Um, so that we don't have this kind of natural habit uh, habitats but um, make it look more man-made and also make it look like, um, yeah, um, how should I phrase this, um, like our zoo is is some kind of zoo that has money and that uses the money wisely when they build something for the animals. So I'm covering those, um, yeah, I'm covering those um, uh, viewing spots with um, uh, some concrete or some plaster pieces here. Um, Yeah, to make it to make it look more, yeah, more more fitting for uh, the theme that we are going here for, and um, yeah, also as I said, to to make it look more man-made. That's that's the whole reason behind that. Um, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, um, <laughs> which might sound funny for you, but um, I hate it that it turned out so good looking. Um, because as I said, um, from this time on, um, I have to go with this theme. And um, <laughs> I don't know if I can manage it the whole time. And um, as you can see, this video or this build in particular took me ages. So, well, yeah, and uh, that is something that I um, uh, was going for with those little spots that we had um, in, um, in the center of our platforms. I had to fill them up in some kind of way and I decided to um, go for something like um, our planters that we have on the... Um, yeah, on the main part of our zoo when you enter the zoo, um, uh, but in um, in a smaller version. So I was um, going for this, and I also used um, the round shaped plaster piece and um, uh, just put in uh, some round shaped mulch piece on top of it to make it look like a planter. So that's a, a very simple. Um, yeah, a very simple way to um, to create some kind of planters and a very easy way, but nice looking, I must admit. And um, here I'm going for um, yeah some uh, some custom fence uh, so that our visitors won't jump into the water or jump over the water section into um, into the habitat of the lemurs 
So we had to put down some kind of fences. Nothing really fancy, just um, some simple things. Also, um, I'm again using some of um, these plaster pieces and this simple in-game fence that we already have to make it look uh, a little nicer. And also, once again, I thought this, uh, this fence was uh, as well fitting the whole theme or at least what I was getting, um, the vibe that I was getting from this zoo, it was very fitting. So here we had a little jump, you see what I was doing. I put down those fences um, around all of the viewing platforms and also um, put down these plaster pieces around our um, whole island habitat. And um, it turned out really, really, really nice. That's also um, the point where the picture was um, created that I posted on Facebook just to, um, to tease this brand new series. Here, was think uh, here I was thinking about um, covering those spots right in between with, um, with some kind of a fence. I don't want it to be that open, I wanted it to be a little bit different. So I chose um, those bamboo pieces to um, make some kind of, um, of a different fence. And I really liked how it um, turned out and um, I thought so I was, um, yo, I will be going with uh, this kind of fence for this area here. And I think it looks pretty nice. And once again is, um, is fitting the whole theme very, very well and um, connecting to the vibe of our zoo. So what I am thinking right uh, of right now is um, I told you guys in the beginning um, that I want to include some of the rides that we have in the game. I'm still thinking about how I'm gonna use that, um, especially with, uh, with this habitat here. You won't see me put down um, any kind of ride in, um, uh, in this episode because um, yeah, it already was that long, so I didn't want um, to go further with that. Um, yeah, I still don't know how to um, include that. But I think I'm going to start, obviously not with a boat ride, because this would be um, uh, too small to, uh, to insert a boat ride. But I think I might start with some kind of um, that, um, that kind of monorail that we have in the game. Um, maybe I'm going for that in the beginning. We also might add the train ride um, in, um, in, a f uh, in the future somehow, somewhere, sometime. But um, I just don't feel the train ride right now. Because I, I, I have some kind of, uh, of pictures in my mind and um, how I want to achieve that and um, I just don't think that we are at, uh, at that point in the zoo right now. We have to go further into the zoo and in some uh, different kind of, uh, of vibe and um, yeah, we're not quite there. Which is no wonder because we, we are already just in episode 2 of our series, so um, yeah. Okay, here's some benches and some trash cans as well. And um, yeah, we have to do the whole thing over here. And um, I think that might be the last planter that I'm going to create here because we don't have any open spots in between anymore. 
Yeah, we also have to um, uh, go around um, the whole habitat and make it look nice. But um, I left the parts left and uh, and right from the islands um, open at that point. Um, just because the area might um, um, not might but will be um, filled with. Um, other different habitats and so I'm going into the decoration mode uh, when we are going to build the habitats around it. Yeah, that leads me to, um, to the point um, where I am thinking about what to build after Lemur Islands. So I'm thinking about um, as I said, I don't want to go um, into that uh, into that continent um, uh, kind of um, of um, building our zoo. I don't want to um, uh, just put down African animals now and. Uh, then we have the North American area and the Asian area and so on. Um, I mentioned that in the last episode already. Um, but I'm thinking if I am going on with um, some more monkeys around this area here, or if I'm turning right or left and um, yeah, putting down some, uh, some other animals, um, Usually I would ask you guys what you think and um, what you want to see, but um, I don't know if I am um, already mentioned it in the last episode. I will be away for a few weeks or at least um, one and a half month. So um, yeah, from next week on. So that is why I have to create um, a lot of videos in advance right now, um, so that um, yeah, that you won't be missing too much of me um, when I'm away. Um, by the way, you don't have to worry about me. Everything is um, okay. It's um, a medical thing, but um, I will be I will be okay when I'm back. So don't worry. Um, I might talk about it in a in a later stage or in a in a later episode because um, I think it's a very important topic. But um, yeah, I'm not quite there. So um, yeah, and that's the reason why I can't let you decide what to build because when you see this video, I just have um, three more days um, to create stuff. And that would be not enough time to create a lot of videos. So, um, yeah, I'm deciding myself. Um, but I promise you in the future I will let you um, also decide some, uh, some kind of things that we are going to do in the zoo. Um, if you like it, I have to say. Um, it also could be that you don't like this zoo, that um, I don't get any views and um, then I'm coming back and um, just have to say, okay, Arizona Adventure Park is uh, closed forever. Um, but I don't think so, because I, I really I really like what... Uh, I really like how all the, uh, all the things come together in this zoo right now. And I hope I can keep it that way. Um, yeah, that being said, um, one of the reasons this episode is going so long is because I um, didn't just have to finish um, the um, island habitats, but I also had to finish the section with, um, with the house. Um, that also took quite some time.
Yeah, I'm just connecting the uh, the path around so that our visitors can walk around the habitat and also have a look inside the house. Um, yeah, I also noticed that, um, that's what I'm going to do right now, um, that I had the wrong color of the plaster pieces. Um, it won't matter that much, but I decided uh, that I had to change it anyways because I wanted to, um, yeah, to have the same colors of uh, of the buildings, um, at least in this area. <coughs> so here I'm going to build something like an elevated planter. Um, Yeah, behind the, the visitor path, because that's also something that you would see in, uh, in my zoo in Munich. Um, they have something, uh, something simil uh, similar. And I thought that would look nice as well. And when I'm finished with, uh, with this, you might see that it all comes together pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. And also we have to um, uh, to take care of the back um, side of uh, this planter in a later stage, um, but that might come when we are going to do um, yeah when we are going further into into building in this area. So at this stage, I'm just keeping it um, open. Yeah, I'm trying to look for the right kind of plants and I really, 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 um, if you know me um, or have watched some of my videos, um, you already know that um, uh, this, uh, this bush with the yellowish um, kind of, uh, of flowers or blooming um, is absolutely my, my absolute favorite. I use it in almost every habitat that I am building. Um, luckily, it is um, compatible with uh, with the desert theme. It also is compatible with uh, with the uh, forest theme, and um, yeah, you can put it down um, almost everywhere. So I'm very happy about that. Also, we had to put down some benches and trash bins um, here at this side as well, which was a little difficult because um, my planter was not really aligned to, um, yeah, to the uh, to the path, and um, so I had to put down the benches in uh, in the middle of the path or um, at least uh, with, a, with a gap to the planter because um, otherwise it would not be yeah it would it wouldn't uh, have looked great so now you can see what I was going for here um, we have this um, kind of theme that we also have in the beginning or in the entrance of our zoo with uh, those kind of floating roof. So that you have this open um, building um, and that your visitors don't go into the building but uh, can um, but it is also like uh, yeah like uh, like a monkey house but it is um, it is open it has no walls for the visitors but just walls for uh, for the monkeys and i think it looks pretty pretty nice it looks um, better in the end than i imagined it to be just one more of those pillars and um I also have to admit, um, I always said I'm not that big of a fan from the North African DLC, but I'm using a lot of those um, pieces actually in uh, in this zoo, and um, yeah, I think I'm I'm happy with the North African DLC now as well. 
yeah and we are almost finished with our buildings um, uh, I'm just putting down the roof from uh, from this side a little more as well to make it look a little bit nicer and uh, not to make it look like this huge um, uninteresting block here just give it a little more pillars that um, they would uh, that the roof will have support because obviously it won't be able to uh, to float around uh, here I always have uh, some kind of problem with uh, with putting down some uh, some kind of uh, of stuffs uh, might be those pillars or something else because uh, sometimes I'm putting it down and um, those pieces are just aligned to the building in uh, in a weird angle so that it doesn't make sense but um, yeah in the end I managed to find the right angle and um, that everything worked out um, in the right kind of way yeah I'm also putting down some um, uh, mulch pieces here at uh, this part um, of the habitat um, and at this gap of the house um, I tried to move the house a little bit closer to uh, to the waterfront um, but decided to keep it the way it um, it already is because um, it would have been too much work to change everything else as well uh, and so I decided no um, I'm not going to um, to change that and instead of that put down some uh, some kind of plants um, in the gap um, to make it look a little bit uh, nicer and a little bit more interesting and I really think I accomplished that and um, that it all makes sense in the end and um, looks looks pretty nice once again I had to take care um, or um, keep in mind that I don't use too many plants or too high plants now you see what I mean um, it looks pretty nice in the background yeah I uh, I couldn't use too many or too high plants because I didn't want uh, the monkeys to be able to escape so they only should be able to use the climbing frames um, uh, to walk over to the islands but not to um, jump down and um, jump on an actual tree and um, escape Yeah, it was also kind um, some kind of a risk that I was going here for um, because I built everything and put down those climbing frames and uh, the house and um, everything else and um, it took me quite some time to finish it. I think um, it was at least like three hours that um, this build took me. And... Um, Yeah, it was it was kind of a risk because I didn't know if um, if my monkeys actually um, if the lemurs are lemurs monkeys or lemurs apes or lemurs lemurs, um, yeah, if my lemurs actually could use everything um, quite properly, and um, yeah, I just had to hope and pray um, that um, everything will uh, will turn out fine, and. Um, Luckily, um, it was, um, and they could use everything like it was supposed to. I just had some minor issues with uh, the red raft lemurs, but we're coming to that in um, in a few minutes. Um, yeah, because the tra uh, the traversable area f uh, for them it just didn't make any sense at all, and. Um, yeah, but um, but I managed to make it work in the end. Although I did cut it out, or did cut a lot of it out, because it took me quite some time. Yeah, now we are finished with everything so far. 
Um, I just was looking at the Supedia for how many animals I could put down in the habitats and also for um, how many male animals I could put down. I was a little bit surprised that I only could put down one male um, for uh, yeah, for lemurs, because um, in reality you would have um, mixed groups. You ha would have more males and um, uh, females um, in uh, in the groups. You have um, you have a female leader of the group, but you could have um, many males in there as well. But yeah, okay, uh, never mind. And here I was going to have a look how it all came together if everything did make sense and I was really 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 happy with what I was seeing I hope you guys do like it as well um, I don't know why but um, it it almost gives me some kind of uh, of an Australian vibe I don't know why yeah, you can see um, the animals are not happy with the space they have. And you can see here, they only could use um, the space inside the house or um, uh, the island, if I did put them on the island. By they, but they couldn't walk from the island into the house, which was uh, weird, because they could use the climbing frames, but they couldn't leave the climbing frames neither inside the house nor outside on the island. I, uh, I didn't understand why I just lifted some kind of the climbing frames uh, a little bit more um, out of the ground and um, in the end they could use everything and um, everything turned out fine. But um, yeah, it was um, it was quite annoying to find out um, how this would work. So, um, we're almost at the end of the video, we're just having a look at our animals in their habitats and as I said I'm quite happy how it turned out. The animals are happy, the visitors are as well and I hope you as my viewers are happy as well. Um, as I said on Facebook, um, this is kind of a, of a love letter, um, uh, this series to my international viewers because um, I had to thank you a lot because you welcomed me to this um, YouTube community so wholeheartedly and um, were so welcoming to me and um, I had so many subscribers from you in such a short time and um, yeah, that makes me very happy and um, I appreciate that. So, I hope you like this uh, little new zoo. Little as it is now, bigger as it's going to be in the future. Um, if you did enjoy it, just leave a like, subscribe to my channel um, so that you don't want to miss any other episode of Arizona Adventure Park. Um, Leave a comment if you if you like and um, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself because that's very important today uh, in today's um, uh, time. And um, yeah, I hope to see you soon in one of our next episodes. Bye guys and thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.